Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The party is starting early. We've got news about Ultimate Birthday, and it's starting soon on FC24, and there's already a small part of it that is added to the game already. Yes, guys, we're talking about that big promo, Foot Birthday, as we know that it's called. And there's one staple of Foot Birthday from the news that we have seen that is continuing and moving forward into this year as well plus there's so much to talk about relating to the new spring update with gameplay changes market panic i'm trying to get some coins before prices potentially drop today and some other leaks in today's video if you're excited for foot birthday drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new now yesterday was a big day of content so let's go over that first with our daily showdown upgrade and we finally got the showdown that we were waiting to see. EA dropped a Barca Atleti showdown that is coming this Sunday. Joao Felix and Memphis Depay. And there's a lot of opinions right now on these SBCs because this card everybody knows is going to be good in game. Cold dynamic, solid upgrade. I think the playstyle pluses for me are nice. Technical is obviously very, very OP. I think chip shot, it could have been something else and it would have been nice too. If it was like Tiki Taka and chip shot, this card would have been absurd um, and it would have been insane. And the card does look very good. Five star, four star. Memphis Depay as well. A very nice card. Finesse plus and first touch plus. Also, 5-star, 4-star got that weak foot upgrade. Now, here's the issue, right? The cards are juiced. It's kind of reminding us like Akanji and Bobby Clark. Upgrades are massive. Two playstyle pluses, absolutely massive. Upgrade potential with plus twos. If Barca or Atleti were to win, especially Barca, right? A 91 Felix would be crazy. Actually, this is what Felix could look like. Remember, we did this with Akanji, right? As the most hyped card from the first set of showdowns. If they were to win this game and then putting him into the Evo, this is the card that you could end up with, which absolutely looks insane. You're talking a team of the season, almost end game level card with five star skills and technical plus. You know how OP this guy would be? Very ratty, but very OP. That's the potential that we're working with here. Here's the problem. The price is the problem, guys. Joao Felix's card now, with fodder slightly going up a little bit, is 800,000 coins to complete from scratch. That is expensive. It is nowhere near the affordable prices like Akanji and Bobby Clark under 400k. These cards are doubled in price, and that is the problem. That's why there's a lot of debate around this, right? You see, the card is upvoted very heavily, but also downvoted very heavily at the same time. And the SBC prices is definitely what people are the most disappointed with. 800k for both of these SBCs just seems to be too much. You definitely feel like for Felix or Depay, especially Felix, as a lot of people are interested in this card... They need to get a win. It doesn't even need to be a draw. It has to be a win. And then you put it into the free Evo to get him to a 92 rated card to make this worth it. And with that much on the line, if I was a Barca fan, I would still try to do it. This is the best Felix card you've got. Potential to be insane. But for me right now, I'm putting this SBC on hold. It might be one of the better SBCs to do if they end up winning, right? But I think with it being out for the next four days, I'm going to wait at least until Friday or Saturday before it expires to decide because by then we'll see what foot birthday is about, the cards that are coming out, and some more five-star weak foot or five-star skill boost to players that will be dropped as well. So I'm going to wait just now on that one. That's kind of my mind mindset. I don't know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments, though. I want to hear some feedback from you guys because everybody is all over the place with that set of SBCs. Now, don't don't sleep on Depay either. Um, and I know that both these are craftable right now with the 83 times 10 and the exchanges and the player picks light. So if you want to do it, you can knock a lot of coins off the SBC. It's just a lot more expensive than we were hoping after how good Akanji and Bobby Clark were. But yeah, don't sleep on Depay. The game is at Atletico Madrid. And uh, I know Barca looked really good. Atletico played today in Champions League. Who knows, right? This game is definitely a derby and that's why there's a showdown for it. But let's move on to the next SBC that was dropped yesterday that not as many people are talking about and kind of for good reason. Fernando Torres Winter Wild Cards. I mean, when you drop an SBC that is on the market, for a card that is on the market less than the SBC is, that's never going to bode well with the community on this game. It's 10 squads for Fernando Torres coming in at a price of 674,000 coins before the SBC was released. 
he was 620k and i think now he was like 450 on the market earlier he's dropped off a lot because it is in that range where it's craftable and it is the best version of fernando torres right now so if you want to get this card you can do it just i mean it is craftable and that's nice and it's an sbc for his version especially this version with quick step plus and the face mask which is cool uh, but i think that it's a little bit expensive also yesterday we had the return of our gamble tuesday player pick this time it's a 1 of 4, 87 plus with two 84 rated squads required in one team of the week. You know, it's there. If you want to give it a shot, go for it. I'm not probably touching that, nor am I touching the Encore Icon upgrade anymore. I did one more of these yesterday, guys, and I got Shevchenko base, okay? The two times I've done this, I put the Icon straight into the exchange and kept crafting into upgrade packs because it was just bad. And so I'm done doing those. I'm putting my full focus on crafting the 83 times 10s, maybe doing a player SPC or two, but then looking forward to foot birthday so speaking of foot birthday we had our first actual piece of foot birthday content dropped yesterday i know it like you know nate it doesn't count because it's kind of something that we get all the time but i think it technically does count right ultimate birthday champions bonus it is out for a long time 41 days and that's why they increased the number of wins that it takes to get the foot champs red item shell 35 matches won in foot champs finals to get you that and then there is a guaranteed uh sorry not a guaranteed foot birthday pack there's an ultimate pack in here in 8410 actually that's a good idea i just thought of that they should do a uh, guaranteed ultimate birthday player uh pack as a part of this at some point that should be an incentive and that should be an incentive uh like we should see that more often we have not seen that a ton this year i know that it is in the season right now but like whether it's SBCs, whether it's um, in objectives, like rewards for objectives or whatever, more of the guaranteed promo card packs, sprinkle them in a little bit more EA. That would be nice. I feel like something like that has to come out during um, Ultimate Birthday as well. So that was the first technically piece of content release for Ultimate Birthday or Foot Birthday. This was the other big talking point yesterday, the spring update, which we hinted at in yesterday's video. We saw the leak and some news that it was going to be coming. But this made some waves, guys. This is, there's a lot to talk about here. And I wish we had time in this video today to discuss it all. The good thing is we discussed this on the second YouTube channel on stream yesterday when this was first coming out. We talked all about it. So I will drop a link to the second channel right up here. And at the end of the video, I'll drop a link for that video. If you want to go learn more about that, how this is going to be impacting the game, play styles, tuning, a whole bunch of other things. But that play style tuning part is massive. It's really changing the game. So uh, we talked about that over there. If you want to go and check that out at the end of this video and that was kind of all the content yesterday guys it was really the, the felix showdown with um memphis to pie that was really taking the cake for the biggest thing happening on the game yesterday so let's talk about foot birthday right that loading screen was massive as well this is what we're here for guys ultimate birthday foot birthday we're probably still going to call it foot birthday um there's some things that we can notice from this loading screen because first of all when i look at this that this is truly beginning now i'm surprised that ea really dropped a loading screen on a on a tuesday heading into a wednesday that was a very early drop for them but as i look at this i'm like okay this is like last year ea put a lot of extra effort and a lot of extra work into this loading screen right a normal loading screen is two car designs and just a background right nothing crazy this one we've got an fc like logo that's birthday cake with like grass for the spring update i'm guessing you've got the other words here you've got like a border around the outside with small text and reading into that small text i think it does confirm a couple of things five star celebration i'm guessing that means that they're going all out it's going to be five stars like of hype i don't know five star upgrades so that confirms the staple of foot birthday every single year having five star weak foot or five star skills not on all the cards but almost all the cards right that's a big big part of foot birthday every single year we talked about that yesterday that is confirmed to be happening once again and then it also here says 15 years of football ultimate team and again i just really hope that they do something since it's a 15 year anniversary i i just hope that they look back and do some sort of throwback aspect to this promo and i hope ea go nuts guys i really really do i mean with the way they're tuning the game even with this update potentially coming out maybe this promo is set to push the power curve change the gameplay and really give us cards that we want and we actually can put into our teams that is the hope but it's gonna have to come down to big stat boost it's gonna, ha gonna gonna have to come down to the five star skill move weak foot upgrades as well and the packability of these players right we need some tradable packs to actually feel like 
we can actually pack them. So that's kind of all the new news that we have about Foot Birthday. There are no other leaks right now besides that loading screen, but I think that's going to change today, guys. I really think that is going to change. We are going to get news. We are going to get info. And even right now, like it's, it's turning, you could say like, the hype is starting to turn the panic. I wouldn't really say there's a ton of panic on the market. I want to talk about the market and how this news is impacting it here in a second. Really, um, it's, it's just starting to turn things. And I think later on today, we're going to get more leaks. That's why I'm starting to get out of a few cards. Um, I finally sold the Rashford that I bought yesterday for 1.6 mil. I wish I could have sold them for like 50K more and made some more profit, but 1.6 to 1.749. I'm very happy with that. I flipped this Tomori from 925 to 1.01. And some of the other cards that I have here, just trying to get some quick flips on and get out of. I can take the profit, take the cash, and be liquid heading into this weekend, which is, I think, a very, very smart move. Now, another thing to talk about for Foot Birthday, jumping back to this point, is they've already dropped some pack code. Here's some other interesting parts about Foot Birthday that we already know. This is the pack that everybody's talking about, a full 11 prism pack. This might be, everybody talks about when are we going to have a 1 million coin pack. I don't know if this is it, but this is one of the craziest packs that we've seen. Full 11 Prism Pack includes 11 guaranteed promo cards. Yes, you read through all the promos there. Thunderstruck, Radioactive, Winter Wild Cards, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, Future Stars. They're all 88 plus. It's 11 promo cards. One of them guaranteed to be 91 or higher. I don't... I don't know if that's going to be a million coins, bro, but that is a crazy pack. I know it's old promo cards too, which is going to definitely make a lot of people not want to open it. But what's the promo pack that they have in here? This 750,000 coin pack includes four players, but it is icons. There's another one in here I thought that gives you regular promo players. Now, this is a Heroes or Icons pack as well. That's another Heroes or Icons pack. Uh, this is one first half foundations. It guarantees you three player items graded 87 plus and also an 81 times 11 and it's 275,000 coins. So can you imagine a 11 players pack with all promo cards inside of it? I'm guessing not including the icons for the heroes, but 88 and above and 191 plus that is going to be an expensive pack and that is going to be a crazy pack just to see it be released but that is the one that everybody's talking about again it is untradeable so don't worry like oh my gosh winter wild cards are going to get destroyed on the market because they're all going to get packed it is untradeable but then there's some other packs in here too this one to me guys i'm getting excited about this one ultimate birthday energizer pack happy 15th birthday ultimate team includes 15 rare gold player items with 185 plus and one ultimate birthday player pick alone for 15 matches all items untradeable i think this is free I think this is a free a birthday energizer pack and all, all things that are energizer pack are cheap. Uh, they like to give out this sort of stuff. So I think that might actually be a free pack that we get on Friday for the start of ultimate team. I mean, it's a birthday, right? A gift, a present sort of type thing would definitely make sense. And that might be it. There's also an elite elite 88 plus pack, which is an 81 times hundred with one 88 plus player. Doesn't live up to the name of what you think it'd be. And then an 89 plus foundations pack, which is an 8320 with one 89 inside of it. Then there's some more ultimate birthday, ultimate birthday essentials, ultimate birthday nano pack. And guys, a lot of people have been saying, do you think they will bring back the return of the 10 and the 30 coin packs in the store? Uh, yeah, I think so. I hope so, right? Again, we kind of equated this promo as like, the second half of the year equivalent to Black Friday in the Thunderstruck promo and the 10 and 30 coin packs this year were first seen during that time of the year. So I don't know if they're going to come back in the packs for you section because that's where we saw them most recently. I think it was a month ago that this was released. That's where we saw the 10 and 30 coin pack released most recently uh, or it'll be inside of promo packs, one of the two. I hope that is a part uh, of this upcoming promo for sure so that's kind of all the packs that have been added to the code of course that 11 players pack is the one that is absolutely crazy so we're gonna wait for more foot birthday news today guys i really believe there's gonna be more leaks the more information this is usually the time of the week where we start to get the leaks um there's no car design that's been added here into the game yet um i'm looking i'm looking i'm seeing nothing so that's a little early for that but i'm surprised that we haven't heard like anything about foot birthday at this point in terms of players that could potentially be in it. You know, yesterday I said that I had a hunch that maybe Hyun Min Sun would be a foot birthday player this year. That's no leaks. That's just a guess. I'm still sticking by a guess like that. Drop a, a name down in the comments of who you think could be a great player to have in foot birthday as well. Um, there are so many great names of players that are going to be, could be in this promo. And I hope EA 
do release something crazy. Now, let's talk more about the market because with this loading screen, I looked on the market and I looked around and I was like, you know, is this gonna make people panic? And I think at the moment, not really because we don't have anything else to really justify this being certified crazy, right? We know there's gonna be five-star upgrades, five-star celebration, right? But I still think with this loading screen being out, I think there is potential for the market to drop. I know the market has been slowly dropping the past couple of days. If we just kind of take a look at some random promo cards, like uh, let's go future stars, right? Let's look at future stars. I don't know. Uh, future stars, Lukiba. How's he doing recently? 88,000 coins. Again, like last week, he was 106K, just kind of dipped down. And he's been, actually, he's up a little bit from where he was. He was in the low to mid 80s. So it doesn't feel like the market has panicked a ton. I know some cards on the middle to higher tier, like some team of the years have dropped in value. They have dipped a little bit, uh, whether that was because of the good SBCs we've had recently or just people starting to sell before foot birthday. These are the cards that we said to sell earlier on because we knew they were going to drop and they they have been right 2.6 mil for her down to 2 million coins. So there's definitely a drop there, but it's not everywhere. But I think there could be more drops on the market in the next day, especially today. And here's what I'll tell you from trading a lot in the last two or three days. Like it is not, this Mukoko. I think these two Mukokos for me are the cheapest ones. They were have been the cheapest on the market for the past, I think, hour or close to it. A bar a couple of undercuts coming in. I think that the market is getting really slow and it's hard to get sales. And that is one thing for me that signals there's a lot less demand. And that could mean that some prices are going to drop. Whenever the panic, whenever that switch kind of flips, whenever it's a leak or some news about something that's going to be coming out during foot birthday that seems pretty crazy, if it is good enough to make people feel like they're going to panic, I think that that could mean with prices starting to drop, they could drop a lot because if there's not very many people buying, then there's just going to be drops and drops and undercuts and prices are going to go down. So that is the thing that I would tell you to be a little bit careful with right now. That's why I'm starting to take the cash. I'm trying to just not undercut and panic, but just trying to slowly get these cards out over the next day, basically, before it could get worse, maybe later on today and then into tomorrow, depending on how the leaks look. So that's kind of the leak situation. We'll just have to kind of fly by the seat of our pants, if you will, and see what happens today to impact the market in terms of news. Let's talk fodder because on the flip side of things, fodder is up because EA did not drop the lightning rounds yesterday that were pummeling these prices all throughout the weekend. They stopped. Now, could they come back today? They could. So I have not invested in fodder. I know yesterday we talked about doing a club stock on the low prices. Might not be a bad idea. 89s back to 30K. They were 27,000 a piece. 90s, 41,000 coins. They were all 35, 6, 7,000 coins at their lowest point. De Bruyne's up a couple K a card. 88s were all 15. Now they're 18K. But but I am not buying this right now because I think it's very possible that Wednesday today EA could run those big lightning rounds again. That is when they started running them last week, which started to crash some of the fodder prices anyway. So just be careful with that. So I'm going to say if you're not invested like me, I think we're kind of hoping for those lightning rounds to come back so that we potentially could in invest. Uh, but fodder is slightly up because there are SBCs people are crafting, exchanges people are doing, and maybe even some people investing in fodder because it was just at like an all-time low ahead of a birthday. So that's kind of a market roundup there. Just kind of waiting to see what happens today before we see some more drops. And while take that sell on Sule, that is a card that's playing today. Bought that for 310, selling for 357. Love the profits, but I need the coins and just like in the safe play of being liquid. Now, being liquid, selling some investments, also something to think about today with yet again, another Wednesday bringing the second, I think, well, actually this might be the third set of Fantasy FC upgrades and i'm not telling you to sell all these cards guys i'm really not but i know that a lot of them that were on the lower tier are up a lot pedro poros thirty-eight thousand coins this guy was 20k for ages right i know a lot of you maybe have invested in him and his price is up a ton but it's because he's getting upgrades guys i do believe that a card like this should should still continue to go up because he still has upgrades to get and he could go all the way to a 91 rated with the position that he's in but just remember last week with politano all the recipe for a price drop after a card upgrades is not many more upgrades to go and they've like if they've achieved achieved three upgrades out of the four maybe even two i think you want to be careful and especially if it's a lower rated card so that poro is one that i'm just throwing some caution into the wind about just to be careful with 
he could go up today. I don't think he goes up much if he gets up when he gets upgraded. In fact, I do think that he maybe drops off a bit. So if you want to sell and just be careful and get your coins there, you absolutely can. Uh, it's the lower rated cards that I'm the most worst, uh, worried about. Even Matson, who I already has sold, but he's 47,000 coins. All he has to do is appear one more to go to an 80, um, to go to a 90 rated card. Actually, he's going to go to an 89 after the second upgrade that he'll get tomorrow. Um, but I would just be careful with the lower rated cards. And also I'd be careful if any of you crazy people have Ferland Mendy still in your club. I mean, this is one, actually, I think it is the most expensive left back in the game. And I know he's getting a double upgrade. Is it a double upgrade or a single upgrade today? I'm not quite sure. But I think I would sell that card, especially ahead of a birthday. I don't know, like 7 milli for a left back is crazy. And when he's not live anymore, he's probably going to drop off. Even Teo Hernandez team of the year is still like, what, 5 to 6 mil. So I could see this dropping a mil or so, even though it's... um you know, a crazy card and it's going to be insane in game. So I would sell that. So I'm just being careful with the live cards. Of course, for those of us that have untradeable live cards that are getting upgraded today, we're excited, right? Because today is an upgrade day for Timo Werner. So we're getting a plus one for Timo. He's going to 91 rated as we progress through, progress through all the upgrades. He got the two win upgrade. All he needs to do is see the pitch one more time and for Spurs to score four more goals for him to go to a 92 rated card, which is very possible and very exciting so those fantasy upgrades are coming out today or bonds getting a plus two as well or bond would be a card that i would be a little bit more careful with too um maybe sell that one and and not worry about it and just take your coins there um unless you're holding on to somebody like marmouche for the long term because you're hoping that they go to 91 rated or something like that um, apart from that i would just be careful now also as i'm going to maybe try to steal this tamori here on a, on a cheeky bid for a quick flip one thing to watch out for today is our Second to last, not the last, second to last showdown SBC, right? We've got Labatka and Bastoni matching up this weekend in Serie A. We've looked at that one. We know about that one. And then also we've got um, the other one is uh, Bundesliga, Wolf and Knopf for Dortmund and Frankfurt. And then this um, this showdown between the Women's United and Women's City teams is also still out there as well. But uh, I don't know how they're going to fit three showdown SBCs in the two days. So one of these might not drop or maybe they drop two on one day. We will just have to see what they do with that. But of course, we will get a daily showdown SBC today. I just think, think about how it was with, um, we started with Akanji and Bobby Clark, and then it kind of went down from there. I don't think it gets too much better today than Felix, or even more expensive than Felix and Depay that we had yesterday. So maybe two play style pluses, but I would bet that the players that we get are a lot cheaper um, for the SBCs that come out today. And then, of course, last thing to look at is a new team of the week coming out every Wednesday, right? We've got Modric. We have got uh, actually Modric with two play style pluses could be interesting. And um, for those of you that did the team leader honorable mentions, I don't know if it'll be better than that card. Probably not. But um, actually, it should be because he did not have any upgrades over the road of the knockouts for that version. So Aubameyang's coming in team of the week. And then um, White is coming in team of the week as well. So doesn't look like a crazy team of the week. No, no messy to speak of this time um like there was this last week so maybe ea won't go all out and full send the lightning round packs maybe they'll try to save some of that for what is upcoming with foot birthday so that's kind of what to expect today on a wednesday i don't think there's too much else that's expiring or actually you know what does the icon i guess the icon's unlimited so it's not going to come back today maybe the the hero player pick yeah it looks like the hero player pick does refresh today on wednesday as well if you're interested in that oh and the 85 plus campaign mix upgrade has returned as well it is back um and it was re-released yesterday so if you want to grind that that is out and available let's see if i win this bid i doubt i do yeah i'm not i'm not gonna pay too much more than like 900k for this card i'll do nine Ooh, okay guess i won't i don't think that's gonna be able to sell for like too much higher than a million coins so i don't know if it's worth my bids and my coins at this time but i'm gonna take the coins and some of this other stuff get ready get liquid i'll still trade on the market today i'm not scared of trading in a market that is volatile because there could be some very very good flips with the panic ceiling so watch out for that but of course watch out for news info and everything today foot birthday bring the hype and i hope there's something to get excited about very soon on this game so if you're excited for foot birthday drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and check out the video yesterday from the second channel where we talked about the spring updates the changing of the seasons and gameplay and how that might even affect the market a little bit i'll put that link right up here and if subscribed to that channel and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss uploads when they go live 
in the future. I'll see you guys on Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description. See you guys there. It's been Nate for the Count. Have a great day. Peace out.